Hello there. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these extended borders around the image that crisscross here. I needed on a recent project, I needed to do a little something fancy with the images and without uh, making too much of an impact. And I thought of these crossing uh, crosshairs in the corners just to add a nice sort of touch and uh, appeal to the images used throughout the website because we had a lot of white space not not a lot of dark sections so there had to be some some classy elements throughout the project so uh, all we're going to do here is use a little bit of css so going over to your page you're going to go ahead and uh, create an image module just like i did here and you're going to open up the settings you're going to add your image any size image this is going to work with any size image and uh, you're going to go over here to the advanced tab and you're going to grab the class that I have on the live demo right here under number two. You're going to grab this class and this is where you're going to add it right here. As you can see, I've already done save and exit, update your page. And then you're going to go back to the tutorial, grab this CSS. I've already laid it out for you going to grab the CSS and you're going to go back to your page and you're going to go to your Divi theme options. Now, if you have a child uh, a style sheet, uh, you can also edit it in there as I typically do. I like to keep all my CSS in here because it's easier to read. But if you don't have a, a child theme, you can go down here and just simply add it in your custom CSS box in your Divi theme options, the very first tab. Uh, you would just save those changes there, and that's all you got to do. And all your images, you, you might have to clear your cache. Uh, if you're using Chrome, it's Control F5, or clear your uh, plugin cache if you're using one, uh, so that the CSS will appear. But it's got a nice hover effect, and, and if you wanted to make changes on the tutorial, as always, my goal is not to teach you how to use the Visual Builder settings as much as as it is to teach you how to customize your website learning a little CSS. As you can see, this only took a few minutes to implement. And <clears throat> so I'll walk you through how to make those changes, what the CSS means back on the tutorial. There'll be a link to this tutorial on YouTube. And if you're watching it on my website, go ahead and check out the instructions below. Have fun.